Hello, Tim from Fair Play now on the 16th of March 2023. Well, over breakfast this morning, I watched a really interesting video that captured my imagination, really got me thinking. And I saw it on Telegram, and it's always hard to share videos from there onto here, but I'll basically just tell you what it was all about. It was by a guy called Michael Manuel Chaves, otherwise known as Mad Mix Conspiracies. Uh, a lot of people watching this will know who he is, but I suspect the majority of people uh, won't know him. But he's quite a prominent truther, especially around you know this area where I live. I've seen him on quite a lot of the events and uh events in london and ones more local to here as well stand in the parks and that sort of thing uh, i don't really know him i sort of never really talked to him but i've kind of know him by sight and obviously i know his videos as well but he was saying in his pretty much his latest video he was talking about uh freedom to travel well we know that that has been a very difficult issue over the last three years. Uh, we haven't been free to travel to all of the places which we used to love going to. And indeed, for some of us, we still can't go to certain places in the world even now. Personally, I can't go to the United States. I can't go to Indonesia. And uh, there's a few other countries as well where you can't go to at the moment so even now it's a problem but what uh, Mad Mix was saying is have we ever been free to travel uh, well you might sort of think pre-2019 yeah of course we were you know uh, you could sort of just jump on a plane and go to wherever uh, you could go over the ferry uh, over the English Channel on the ferry to France. You could fly to India, Canada, Australia, wherever you wanted to. Um, well, what he was saying is, no, you couldn't really, not without a passport, you can't do those things. And a lot of those places, you need not just a passport, of course, but a visa as well to get into these countries. And his point was is those things are only given to you granted to you by the powers that shouldn't be by the government you can only really ever travel anywhere as long as you've got their bit of paper that says you can travel that says yes you can get onto this ship or this plane or whatever it might be and he was then saying, yeah, but we've all, you know, we've always had passports uh, forever. Um, although I have seen things that you didn't have passports, you know, 100, 150 years ago. Uh, you could literally get on a, uh, a boat and, you know, go to France or wherever, any country you wanted to without any kind of paperwork. Although course back in those days hardly anyone could afford to travel and that was his second point you can really only ever ever afford to travel if you've got money you know their money and he was saying going back to the passport thing uh you know you might say well we've always had passports i can't ever remember a time when we didn't have passports well what if in 50 or 100 years time, people are saying, yeah, well, we've always had to have passports to travel to the next town, to the next county, to the city sort of 50 miles away up country there. Uh, yeah, you know, it's always been a thing that we've had to have passes and passports, internal passports and travel documents to be able to go to those places. So, it's almost the same kind of thing, isn't it? Whereas we can travel um, fairly freely as long as you've got the money <laughs> to you know, go up to uh, Nottingham or something like that, or to Man Manchester, Birmingham. But we can't 
go to places like France or Italy, or Poland, uh, or anywhere, uh, Mexico, without passports. You can't do international travel without passports. And we kind of take that for granted. And how long will it be until we get to the stage where people take it for granted that you need to have travel documents to even travel in this country? So that was kind of his point. But it kind of then got me thinking, what is freedom even? And how much freedom do we really have? You could say, yes, I can, you know, I'm free to be able to go up the road there to a restaurant, a pub, I can go to any shop I like, I, I'm free to do this, I'm free to do that. I can go and uh, get some kind of lessons in some new exciting skill. Uh, I could get singing lessons or uh, dancing lessons or, you know, whatever. Uh, you know, lessons in photography, maybe whatever it might be. I'm free to do any anything like that. Well, you're only free to do that as long as you've got money, and with some things you have to have special documentation as well. Uh, you can't just go off and do scuba diving, for instance, without uh, necessary documentation. Although, of course, you can argue that there's a very good reason for that. You can't just go scuba diving willy-nilly with no training whatsoever. But you definitely do need to have documentation for that and many other things as well. And you also need to have uh, documentation to uh, you know, set up a business, for instance, in a lot of places. To be fair, England's not too bad on that score. If I wanted to, if I was totally unemployed, I could go out there and do window cleaning right now. And all I'd have to do is just go to my local DIY superstore, pick up a ladder, uh, a bucket, um, a squeegee, and a couple other bits and bobs. And then I can go out around the neighborhood here, knocking on doors, and uh, you know, you want your window uh, cleaned, uh, sort of governor? Um, I can do it real cheap for you. And yes, you might have to knock on quite a few doors, but you probably eventually get someone or a few people saying, yeah, okay, off you go. Um, I'll give you however much. And by the end of the day, you could have money in your pocket. And that's how easy it is in this country to uh, set up at least a simple business like that. But I bet in a lot of countries, you couldn't do that. Uh, a lot of places, you'd probably have to have a, uh, a special permit for window cleaning. You probably have to have, um, you know, it's probably laws in place which would prevent you going door to door, knocking on people's doors like that. You know, no door to door canvassing laws, probably some countries have. Uh, other countries, I know you have to have a, a business licenses before you can set anything up. So in a lot of places, you haven't even got the freedom to set up a business. And we're talking about supposedly free democratic countries as well, not, you know, kind of North Korea stuff, but, you know, Western countries, which are supposedly free. So it begs a question, just what is freedom and i suppose what we need to do is question anything that threatens to take freedom away you know if anyone any kind of politicians ever saying yeah we need to have this bring in this permit to do this or that kind of passport to do that uh, we need to just ask very serious questions. Why? Why are you saying that? Why do we need this? We don't need it. You know, sort of get lost. And I think we've been far too complacent. We just tend to think of oh, people in the media and the in politics are saying, yeah, we need to do this and we need to bring in strict new laws. We tend to sort of think, well, they know best and let them get on with it. And no, we can't do that anymore. We've got to keep asking questions and we've got to keep making sure that they do not attack our freedom and that is a lesson that we've learned in the last three years 
and we need to be ever so vigilant, I think. So gonna leave it there. Time's getting on a bit up to 10 minutes already with that little talk. Uh, but I'll be back tomorrow. Tim from Fair Play now. Thanks for watching.